Hey everyone, I'm with Angela Tucker from Amara, and that is a foster care agency that's really done a lot of tremendous work with families, and now you're working with an adoption project that you've started. Can you talk about that? Yeah, so Amara's post-adoption program has started Project Search and Reunion. Okay. Essentially, we are going back through our files as old as 1950 through 1999 to make sure that adoptees have all the information that they should have, which is information about their own life, information about their birth parents, and anything else they might want to know, okay. medical records included. And people weren't getting that before? Right. So. In the past, there was a strong sense of secrecy in adoption that adoptees shouldn't know everything about themselves because it might be too painful, too hurtful, too hard to hear. And now the best practice really is more that we should know everything and in fact it would be helpful for us to understand our beginnings. Sure. Um, and so we want to make sure that anyone who's requested that information gets it now. Something that we have in common, we're both adopted, we've both reconnected with our birth families. It is hard to get access to your birth records. Yes, absolutely. And in the state of Washington, what is that like? Yeah, in the state of Washington, there are laws that don't allow adoptees to have their whole file. So they can't know about the adoption that took place. Uh, they may get their original birth certificate, but it's kind of limited to that. And yeah, as an adoptee myself, I know that Having been denied that information until I was 27 years old, just a few oh years gosh. ago, I feel like I lost a lot. I didn't get to know my birth siblings until recently. And one story that we uncovered was about a, a man who was told that he didn't have any siblings back in the 60s when he asked, and he really has six siblings. And so it is earth-shattering news, and it's so important for him to know And what? That. What about some of the other things? I mean, these aren't just kids. We're right. looking, you, you mentioned the man, but you have a, a fascinating story of a woman in her 90s? Yeah, right? a or woman who was adopted through Amara in 1923, who's now 95 years old, recently learned that she has a biological brother. Oh my gosh. And was able to imagine. connect with him. Yeah, and so it just, it really goes to show that adoption doesn't end when you reach adulthood. Right. That many aspects of being adopted, like both of us know, extend throughout your entire life. In different phases. Yes. Depending on what you're doing in your life, exactly. too. You know, you think about things exactly. that you didn't know. Um, how can people follow up with what you're doing with the project? Or maybe they want to know more about Amara. I mean, there are a lot of things. How can people follow yeah. up with what you're doing? Well, people can go to our website, which is amaraputskidsfirst.org. And there they'll find a lot of stories that we're telling about this project. And we also have other programs where people can get involved by volunteering um, or adoptees can get involved with other youth mm -hmm. adoptees, which is really exciting. So maybe I think our website would be the best place to start. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much and good luck to your project. It sounds Thank amazing. You. Thanks to Angela and everyone over at Amara. If you would like to know more about, you know, their project, you can text the word SEARCH to 206-448-4545. We'll send you a link about how far they're going back and some of the examples that you kind of heard, but just more details. It's really fascinating. Sorry, yeah. It's fascinating. And I just think that, you know, for them to kind of expose themselves, you know, like, I mean, historically, it was a certain way. They had nothing to do with it, you know, right. but to go back and say, hey, we're going to audit our own records 100 years right. and try to help people. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Pretty impressive. So, yeah, check wow. it out.